Hi, I'm Rob Issam. I'm here at this roundabout because a little bit more than a week ago, a student was nearly struck by a truck right here. So what I'm gonna do is just walk ar across this street just to show you some of the things that I do to stay safe at a roundabout street crossing. First thing is I look for a sign. Those big bright signs indicate to motorists that they can expect to see a pedestrian crossing here. As we're approaching this roundabout here, as you can see, we have our speed limit sign. We also have our roundabout sign as well as the pedestrian signs here. Um, main thing we want to focus on right now is pedestrian safety. That's our, that's our focus right now. As I kind of tow the line here, I might have to wait. You can see like not all of these motorists are yielding to the pedestrian in the crosswalk. So I just have to patiently wait until I get someone who is willing to allow me to cross. All of us are kind of used to roundabouts, so we know that the vehicular traffic, I'm yielding to them because they're already in the traffic circle. But what I can see here, Rob's actually entering the crosswalk. I'm gonna look, double check. I'm gonna start crossing the street now. This is a two lane, so you have to be sure both lanes are clear when you're walking across. I'm gonna look both ways, monitor my traffic, but I'm also allowing him time to safely get across before I proceed to go around the roundabout. This is a pedestrian island. This is a really fantastic bit of infrastructure because it gives me a safe place to wait and then check again. So now I'm gonna look down the road. I see that this motorist is not gonna pause. We've added a ton of, as you can see, the pavement markings, uh, pedestrian signs. We've had the bike lane signs. We've done a lot of improvements in this area right here especially to bring uh, safety awareness to the vehicles as well as pedestrians. I can see if I can maybe influence their behavior by like putting a toe in and seeing, but oh, no, uh, oh, he is gonna stop, there we go. So here we go, and now I have to pause again just to be sure that this lane is clear too. That's super important. My job and Rob's job and other traffic engineers do, we wanna make sure that pedestrian safety, vehicular safety, it's maintained. So what we wanna do is we wanna reduce fatalities, reduce crashes, and make everybody safe in the city of Roanoke. And then you've made it across. It's National Pedestrian Safety Month. For more pedestrian safety tips, visit Roanoke Transportation on Facebook.